Welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that voice the whole round because I would be hacking and coughing the entire time. Like, <laughs> non-stop. It would be no bueno for anybody. So anyway, <laughs> welcome. Running a bunch of subscriber requests. It just took me like 12 minutes to change out my entire hangar. Um, but we were able to do it. A stupid hanger bug. Like, I don't have it on iOS, but on Android. Um, I've heard a lot of you guys, too, talking about how you have it. So my biggest tip of the Jeopard aphids, make sure you get half of your health lost before you fire a shot. That's that's pretty much what you want to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> so the the other unfortunate thing is that this, uh, this Jeopard, so I'm in Champion League, and this Jeopard is level 8. So if it wasn't, if Lightbots weren't super squishy right now already, um, then yeah, this is no bueno. I mean, luckily the Jeopard got a health buff. What is that? I think I just saw two aphids coming at me. I'm not sure what it is. It's moving slow. Oh, it's a patent. It is a patent. So as much as you can, you want to strafe sideways. The, the speed, if you have a bot with speed, or even if you have one that doesn't, most of the time your best benefit for avoiding aphids is to strafe sideways. Just so you know. Oh, sweet. Hey, if you if these guys are dashing, like, somehow the aphids, like, magnet to them. <laughs> but uh, I think between the lag and... <laughs> I think between the lag and that guy, just uh, regular walking, he's able to avoid my um, avoid my fire. Dang it. So <laughs> I was strafing to avoid the aphids, but then Leroy the Marine here, he was coming around the corner. He was coming around the mountain when he come. So he was coming, and I was like... Uh, I didn't want to get hit by him. I didn't know what it was. And, and yeah, so I, I turned back and ended up eating pretty much one full aphid from that patent. So that was no bueno. Luckily, that patent's gone, though. He was the biggest threat to us. Uh, with your aphids, you want to make sure, like, with the Jeopard, one of its benefits is its speed. So 58 kilometers per hour, regardless of level. You could have a level 1 Jeopard, and that's your speed. Um, so that's one of the big perks of using it, obviously. So you want to make sure you're using it to either avoid stuff uh, take beacons or get yourself behind cover or or change positions so that you're distracting the enemy. Whoa, that one flew high. That was like a noricum. It was like a norifid. <laughs> what? Norepinephrine? What? Um, but anyway, yeah, and so with the aphids, the big perk to using aphids is that you can fire behind cover. So as much as you can, don't expose yourself to shoot. Stay behind cover. Um, so those are those are pretty much like what you want to do with the uh, with the Jeopard aphids. Uh, there were several requests for this one. It, they were they piled up over the last couple of weeks, and uh, just after yesterday's video, there was a couple people who also wanted to see the Jeopard with aphids. Let's see if we can get this guy real quick. Get a good angle on that lance. Oh, that was a good angle on that lance. <laughs> that was a great shot. Oh, that worked out really nice. Anyway, so uh, like I was saying. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, good oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the the requests were piling up. And so um, between the ones that I got just yesterday, that pushed this one to the top of the priority list as the most requested build as of late. So, um, but anyway, yeah, so that's how I do it. If you guys put a request in and I, and I don't do it, it's usually because it just hasn't made it to the top of the list yet. That's how I explained that these happened a while ago. Oh, no, we've got 325 health. <laughs> He just needed to like shoot by us and it yeah, it would be no bueno. Let's drop into our carnage real quick and Eliminate this guy before he can grab our beacon plus we can help the team with uh, I love the lag. That was great I was gonna say we could help the team with uh, keeping him off the beacon there So let's get out of the way. I don't want him to knock our shield down all the way I don't want to have to wait for the recharge and uh, Let's see if we can get their beacon. So they were just moving up on ours and uh, Oh, yeah, so all six of them just dropped in so I was, let's just, yeah, I was waiting to see if that guy would fire there. And then, uh, yeah, so let's let's move in here and take the beacon. All six of them have dropped and they're on the other side of the map. So keep an eye out for opportunities like that on Beacon Rush. If, if they're all on one side of the map, I mean, you could still get beacon bombed. Like someone could get taken out while you're over there by the beacon. But if they're all on the map and they're on the other side, take the opportunity. Um, grabbing this beacon, I mean, this, I don't know what this round's going to turn into. It's only halfway done on the timer. Um... And not quite halfway on the beacon bar, but that could be that could be a game changer right there. If you're not paying attention, then you know that that could have been a, a really bad missed opportunity. So let's move in and uh, and pressure this guy. Uh, luckily, it looks like all of them are dropping this way. We'll drop this guy's ansel shield and then we'll keep moving over to take this Leo. 
um, if it works out. So, tink tink, you're mine, man. <laughs> so he's smart there. Did you see him firing before I came around the corner? That's because the Ansel shield sticks out around the corner. Oh, no. Oh, he, he already knew who he wanted to shoot at. He must have just, yeah, he got taken out and he knew who he wanted to take out. So uh, that worked out for us. If he had turned and faced us right away, um, that would have been no bueno. So he saw us now. I think I just saw him turn towards us as he went around the corner. So we'll need to be careful of him for sure. Not sure what that is right there, the fleshy, fleshy guy. So let's uh, see if we can help take him out. Oh, it's a, it's a lag chi. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the dash bots even more OP is when they're lagging. The servers can't keep up with them. Like, I don't know. Yeah, there, there's a lot of issues with those. Holy Hannah, there's so much stuff happening. He's got another one. <laughs> He's got another lag chi. So, I saw this guy on the map. Let's just take him out really quick. He probably thought he was safe. He thought he was safe behind enemy lines. You're never safe, man. So, this, uh, this is another request from you guys. The... Uh, um, so multiple of these had, had piled up as well. Um, but these ones over time, these ones haven't been coming in really fast, but, um, but yeah, so for the Tempest Punisher Lancelot, uh, biggest, I mean, obviously the perks of a Lancelot you guys are familiar with. Um, but you want to make sure that you're dropping, um, as much as you can. You want to drop your enemy's health as you're moving in with your Tempest. And then if you can wait to fire, like if you are going to move in to engage, like to close range, um, a lot of times you want to wait to fire your punishers until uh, you're within like 300 meters. It also depends on what you're engaging, who you're engaging. Um, like with something like this, there's no reason for me to be this close, especially since he's got a, a thunder on there. Um, but we're getting taken out anyway, so <laughs> we'll just keep pressuring him. And uh, luckily we had a teammate move in there. I'm not going to last much longer though. Hey man, chest bump, chest bump. I think he thinks we're done, but we've got we got people still, man. We got people still. I like I like the celebration though; it's good. I like your energy; never change. <laughs> I also like your energy shield. I just wish it was bigger. So let's drop into our Galhad. Wrong way. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody about that the other day too. Is uh, <laughs> dropping in on Beacon Rush and you're facing the wrong direction? <laughs> That's the worst. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna be facing me. <laughs> that was dumb to come around the corner. I should have just assumed that he would be. Um, but anyway, did you see my shield already go? I mean, he's firing. I mean, that's a lot of damage coming, you know, just from that build anyway. But yeah, that that's one of many reasons why I disagreed from the beginning about the Thunder and the Punishers getting the damage buff to physical shields. Because they already do so much damage anyway. They're, they're the highest DPS weapons in the game. I just think it's totally unnecessary, especially for the Punishers. Like on a Griffin, you're doing more than a million damage to a shield in what, like 13 seconds? So any shield drops or like should drop if you're aiming well within a f couple of seconds there. So anyway, we, we've got to get a good round with this Galahad. We've had it in for a little while and we haven't got to talk about it. It just ended up being my last resort bot <laughs> kind of thing. Or I put it in and I get taken out right away. So anyway, pretty good round. Uh, definitely good round with the Jeopardy aphids. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was actually our first one. I just finished putting all the stuff in. My clan was in trying to invite me like a couple times while I was putting my stuff in. Um, but, uh, yeah, I told him I was trying to switch my hang route, so it was going to take a little bit. Um, looks like there's some messages down there. I wonder if they sent me any. Let's grab this gold real quick, and then I want to check messages before we drop into another battle. So we'll do the double upload again. Uh, remember, if you don't want to see the double upload, uh, just watch the video at double speed, and it'll be just like watching one of my regular videos, except I'll sound much funnier, which will make it even more entertaining, right? So if you're on Android at least, I'm not sure about iOS, but if you're on Android at least, the most recent YouTube update should allow you to watch your videos in double speed. You might have to drop the quality so that your phone can handle it, um, playing the video back that quickly. But yeah, if you guys don't like the double uploads and you notice it's gonna be a longer video, just make sure you up the video speed so that you don't have to, um, you don't have to commit to, you know, 17 or 15 or 20 minutes or whatever. I think yesterday's was like 17 and a half. Um, so you don't have to commit to that much time. When I'm binging YouTube videos, that's totally what I do. I watch everybody at double speed. So when I, when I listen to someone talking normal, I'm like, man, they're talking so slow. <laughs> so anyway, let's put the gal hat in. Um, I figured we'd, we'd drop into it here anyway. It's one of the quicker ones we've got in right now. So we'll drop into it and, and move over and take center. Hopefully one of my teammates goes and takes our back beacon. Um, depending on what I have to do as far as defending the center beacon, I might drop back and take um, our uh, our side beacon over here. But uh, 
Oh, it looks like everybody's moving up that way. Oh, that's not true. I've got an arrow down in the bottom of the screen. Do you see that? I've got an arrow down there. Teammate looks like either behind me. It's pretty stable, so he's probably further away. So he's probably going for that beacon over there. <laughs> when the arrows around you are really squirrely, that's how you know they're really, really close. <laughs> it's because, uh, yeah, whatever movement they do is... Uh, it's happening all very fast, so the arrow's like twitching around everywhere. But that arrow down there is really stable, so he must be getting... Oh, he, he did get our other beacon, if you look at the top. Oh, nice! That was fortuitous! Thank you so much! You see that from my teammate over there? That was great, man. Thank you, whoever you are. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> so, let's... Uh... Oh, he dropped just out of range. <laughs> I was going to start pressuring his shield there. Um, so I dropped my shield in turn so that I could get behind cover faster. I didn't want to take more damage than necessary with that. What's he got? He looks like he's stopping. Oh crap, those are Columbus and CRV pins. Or not CRV pins, they're just pins now. Oh no, he got me. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> Try to get behind cover. Paying attention to too many things. Um, okay, so we've got to watch out for Matador there. Uh, this guy, he's getting dropped. Luckily, we were getting support from the other side of the map. That guy's doing a really good job on my team, keeping his head on a swivel. It looks like this is going to be one of those rounds where um, I'll probably be over here defending this beacon a lot. Let's put this up. So back up when you're getting aphids, um, if, if you got a Galhad. Um, my shield had already taken so much heat, but um, this Galhad's done anyway. I wanted to see if we could chase this guy down, but it doesn't look like it's going to work very well. Oh, there goes my Orkin. <laughs> Well, we can't catch him. Let's see if we can get one of these guys before we get taken out. Nothing? No? Nothing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Done. I love how the Galahad, like, flips around towards the camera sometimes. The Leo, too. Like, it flips around towards the camera, like, recently. <laughs> and just, like, tips over backwards slowly. I think it's hilarious. It's, like, the best death animation ever. Hats off to the death animation team. I wonder if they have, like, a, a room of just people coming up with the death animations. That'd be kind of exciting be on that task force so anyway thunder carnage here see if we can uh drop this guy luckily we're still getting support from the other side of the map that's really good but yeah with with <laughs> who's coming in over here it's pretty much the same the same guys let's drop his shield real quick and then back up so he can't do the same to ours um but yeah so with uh with what's coming in on this side of the map we're probably just gonna end up being doing uh, beacon defense over here the whole time and uh, not really doing much as far as damage, which is fine, because we're helping for the win. If they have the center beacon here, uh, we'd get overrun really fast with all of my teammates dropping in on the other side of the map over there, or at least half of my teammates or more have been consistently going over there. So with this guy, let's um, I guess we'll <laughs> let's come up here. It looks like another one just dropped in. I think that's a Galahad too. Yeah, that that is another plasma Galahad. <laughs> He might have pins, um, or uh, pinatas on his side. I think he does. I think he's got a Tehran and pinatas. Um, but anyway, so if we can shoot at this guy from here, I was hoping he'd come around the corner because we would have cover, but um, with that griffin right there, it's actually not going to do us tons of tons of good being around here. Um, oh, and this guy was coming up on the side. I totally forgot to think about him. Um, well, let's see if we can just help drop his shield really quick. Well... <laughs> Well, there's like 60,000 damage to a shield just in that one shot, so that's good. Um, all right, well, let's, uh, we'll just back up here, and we'll play Beacon Defense from a little bit further back. All these guys have shields, and I've got double damage to shields, so we'll just play back and forth. If they think I've switched targets, I'll just keep bouncing back and forth between these guys. See that? So this gal had dropped his shield. Then we get a bunch of damage into him, and uh, I guess we'll keep pressuring him. That other guy's behind the hill now. We might have to move in here uh, through the back on the center beacon. Luckily, we've got some help over here now holding the beacon. Um, but yeah, with all the, <laughs> all the shield shooting we've had to do, that's also not going to do wonders for our damage score. Um, which is unfortunate just because of silver. But I would much prefer to win than to be rich. <laughs> I'm a very poor man as far as silver in this game. <laughs> I, used to, I used to have a lot, but as soon as I started... Um, you know, trying to get everything in the game and upgrading everything in the game and speeding up some stuff for you guys. Like, it just uh, um, didn't happen fast enough. Did you see that? I accidentally killed that Galahad. <laughs> I was trying to shoot the Griffin, and he was right there, and I accidentally killed him. So, let's get this Spartan guy. It's always kind of scary coming up, like, when you see clan tags that you know. Um, 
And uh, yeah, Spartans, they're one that I that I definitely worry about when I when I come up on them. So we'll back off here as we're nearing the end of our clips and I don't have my Tempest. Uh, we'll just back up. Dude, isn't that annoying? You see the artifacting like from Plasma? Um, I'm sure you guys get that as well, but after I think it was the I think it was the 3.0 upgrade or upgrade update. Um, I think it was that update, that patch that uh, that ended up doing that, like where you get the plasma. Like if they're shooting at you from within 400 meters, is basically what I've seen. Um, what happens is that it, you get the visual effect that plasma is either hitting you or is near you, um, but you don't take the damage. It's just showing up there. So um, let's move in here. We'll we'll take out this guy. So. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. We got a bunch of Lancelots coming in too. Oh, I thought he had Tyrons. Well, <laughs> our Lance is dead. Um, let's, uh, drop in. Oh, I should have dropped in on C. Why did I drop in here? That was really, that was a mistake. Oh, and then I had a bad jump. <laughs> oh, who would have known? Stu had a terrible Griffin jump. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm losing to a rug. Movie quote. Whoever gets it gets 12 points. Um, so I guess let's move in here. This is where I should have dropped with that Griffin. That was really stupid. But it looks, I mean, look at this, look at the score. We've got the game in the bag with the, the dominance bar up on top. Uh, we've got like pretty much the whole thing. So unless they get a five cap, like there's pretty much no way they're going to win. Oh man. <laughs> right before, right before my aphids landed. Well, these guys I should be able to get, um, hopefully anyway. Shooting aphids when they're moving the other direction sometimes that did like no damage. See that should have done <laughs> That should have done much more than what it just did. That was dumb. Anyway, this guy's moving really slow. We should be able to do a lot to him. Oh So close. I wonder what his health looked like after that. He got a <laughs> volley from the other guys too So anyways, thanks so much for coming and checking out the video guys If you like this smash the thumbs up button Let me know if you like these double uploads and I hope you have an amazing day